Good evening and thanks for joining us. We begin with a solemn ceremony to honour the six members of the Canadian forces who died in a helicopter crash off the coast of Greece. Only one body has been found and so there was only one casket carried off the aircraft at this repatriation ceremony in Trenton, Ontario, that of 23-year-old Sub-Lieutenant Abigail Cobra. The others were honoured in a simple and moving act. Just their hats carried on black pillows to a lineup of waiting hearses where family and friends paid their respects. Reminders of the pandemic on the faces of everyone there, including the Prime Minister. Four air crew and two sailors died when their cyclone helicopter crashed while on a NATO training mission one week ago. Ross Lord reports on how the dead were honoured when most of their remains are lost at sea. After what historians call the worst helicopter crash in Canadian military history comes a repatriation ceremony unlike any other. The body of one crash victim, Sub-Lieutenant Abigail Cobra, has been brought back from the Mediterranean Sea to be returned to her family. But military leaders, along with the Prime Minister, had to honour the other five victims differently. With their remains still at sea, pillows with the member's service headdress on top are carried from a military plane to waiting hearses. Those members are... Captain Brendan Ian McDonald, a pilot from New Glasgow, Nova Scotia, who has two siblings in the armed forces. Captain Kevin Hagen, also a pilot from Nanaimo, British Columbia, remembered for his positivity and his passion for flying and adventure. Captain Maxime Mirant Morin, an air combat systems officer from Trois Rivières, Quebec, who, along with three other victims, graduated from the Royal Military College of Canada. Sub Lieutenant Matthew Pike, a naval warfare officer from Truro, Nova Scotia, who was engaged to be married. And Master Corporal Matthew Cousins, an airborne electronic sensor operator from Guelph, Ontario, who served in the Army Reserves for several years before joining the Air Force. As their families grieve, the victims' presence is felt far beyond Canadian Forces Base Trenton, including in Nova Scotia, where the Cyclone helicopter and its ship, HMCS Fredericton, are based. There's going to be five families up there that are not going to receive the remains of their of their last loved one, and, and that's, that is, that's gut-ripping, it really is. Jerry White is a family friend of Sub-Lieutenant Cobra. He and other veterans spoke to her father before the ceremony. I said, I do my best work at, at 4 o'clock in the morning, and he texted me back immediately. He said, I'm glad to hear that, because that's when everything is quiet and the tears flow best. Families also met privately with the Prime Minister. After the ceremony, a motorcade traveled down the Highway of Heroes to Toronto, where the coroner's office will conduct an autopsy on Abigail Cobra's remains. Even in times of physical distancing, some scenes of tribute remain the same. Ross Lord, Global News, Halifax.